Father, is it over? At long last. No king rules forever, my son. I see. Only darkness before me. Master's command, the restless scourge will become an even greater threat to this world. Control must be maintained. There must always be a Lich King. selfless life and for that you have been chosen chosen to shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the ascended serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the shadowlands i serve the light and my work is not done there is an evil that must be there is no evil here the darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home, murdered my people and my king. 
He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen, I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Devos, how long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. On his blade were unmistakable. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The Order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. As you command, my Archon. Uther! The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls. We will claim him. I see. Only darkness. Eternal suffering awaits. He was my student. Remember what he did and take your vengeance. Not vengeance, justice.
ice crown. A monument to our suffering. The veil between life and death. Where a usurper sits on a frozen throne. But no king rules forever.
seize this power for herself. Instead, she has done the unthinkable. Now, she will come for them all. To finish what she started. Along with every soul burned to ash in your precious tree. Where is she? <laughs> Go on. Kill me. You'll send me right to my lady. Beyond the veil, she shattered. <laughs> oh, Tyrande. Hi. Priestess, night warrior, completely powerless to stop the coming.
Beyond the veil lies darkness, where every soul has its place. You won't succeed. Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we seek. In another. Anduin! How badly are you hurt? I will live. I'm relieved you're all safe. These bonds are too strong to break by force. We must find a way to free him. I will do... Is that... Hated? Eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the Eternal City, as the Shining Heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... That dread moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. I was Draka of the Frostwolf clan, a warrior who gave everything to protect what mattered most. But I was not done fighting. Maldraxxus, where the armies of the Five Houses once stood side by side to protect the realm of death. It was here I served the House of Eyes. A strange fit for a warrior soul. Again. Their ways were not mine. Faster! Eventually, this life after life 
began to feel right. The House of Plagues lies in ruins. One-fifth of Mount Drax is wiped out. It's hard to believe they could be so careless. Perhaps they weren't. No matter what happens now, Mount Draxus must stay true to its purpose. For if we fail in our duty, the Shadowlands will fall. I believe the House of the Chosen still stands with us, and I trust you to deliver this to Margrave Crexus. Now, go. And Draka, be watchful. My brothers, I am on urgent business. My lord! Hurry! There could be survivors! So, these are the traitors you spoke of. I would not let such Urgura prevent me from delivering my lord's final message. Ordeals such as this either break the sword or strengthen it. I offer the key to saving Maldraxxus. I am sorry, Margrave. He gave me no key. An unyielding warrior with the skills of a master spy. A key to many things. Come, our enemies will strike openly soon. We must prepare. I am Draga, once of the Frost Wolf clan. Now, Baroness of the House of the Chosen. And most of all, a protector of Maldraxxus. No, I will not yield. My mind is my own. Do you hear me? The seat of the Primus and discovered his warning. Unfortunate, but of little consequence. And our eyes are everywhere. This nuisance will be dealt with.
my grove, friend. My queen, I shall protect these souls through their winter. I shall see them reborn in their spring. No matter what trial I face, I swear it, my queen. I swear it. Rest well and dream. Season after season of this drought. Here. Here. It's so little, I know. everything from this grove. Everything. No! This is my grove! You will not destroy them! Aralon! We are not your enemy. Anyone who threatens my grove is my enemy. I swore an oath. My queen, I kept faith all this time that you would save us, and now you send scavengers to my grove? Why? Ardenweald is dying. It must be saved. The Queen has called the Wild Hunt. We have culled your grove so that others might live. Will you sacrifice one soul for the forest entire? Or will you keep your oath? Your heart is pure. I will honor your choice. One last time, you serve the wilds. You will not be forgotten. Forgive me, friend. I will hunt for you, my queen. For Ardenweald. And for the souls we can yet save. I swear it. I swear it. Of my sister, why have you brought it to me? This one is slipping away. 
Our duty is grim. Many have been lost. Why would I save her pet? Those who have dreamed by its side awaken with a joy and peace that whispers of wonder. If she dies, then all that is emerald dies with her. Some must be sacrificed, but some must be saved. If we forget that, all that will remain will be empty shells and sorrow. To the good people of Revendreth. It is with optimism that I address you today. Though these are challenging times. Firstly, I assure you that our holy mission to help the most violent and wicked souls atone for their sins is and always will be our utmost priority. Our rituals are effective. Our judgment keen, but fair. We, Venthyr, remain committed to bringing eventual redemption to all who desire it. It is through your faithful work that even the most evil and prideful beings may ultimately be spared an eternity in the Maw. Unfortunately, of late, the flow of such hubris-ridden souls has virtually ceased. And as a result, Anima, our most precious resource, is in dwindling supply. Even we, the faithful who extract the Anima, have not been spared the effects of this mysterious drought. Oh, yes, we still have our old reliables. Our workhorses. Yet I fear they will not be enough. We are doing everything in our power to gather more anima. But, simply put, we must all, rich and poor alike, make sacrifices for the greater good. Therefore, I have decided to implement a strategy of conservation and rationing which should keep the anima flowing to those most in need. In this manner, we will keep our people strong and our land healthy, despite the efforts of those who would use this crisis to further their own ends and rebel against the rightful structures of our society. 
Rest assured, we shall bring these miscreants to justice. With fairness and mercy, of course. I am, after all, nothing if not compassionate. My loyal subjects, we are doing all that can be done to stimulate Animar production and fulfill Revendreth's honorable purpose. Remain devout and resolute, and know that I will lead us all into a brighter future. Your valiant last stand. For so very long, you've punished arrogant souls. But instead of learning from their suffering, you've become one of them. You just needed to obey. How fortunate you are. To witness the splendor of what is about to unfold. Every precious drop of anima, so painstakingly run from the tortured souls of lesser beings, now paves the path for the banished one to reclaim what was his. And once his liberation is secured, it shall be by his will that all is washed away. The only power that will emerge from this torrent of change is death. Death and those who shaped its victory. Someone will stop you, Tenathrius. Even if I... <laughs> Do not speak. Observe. I do hope you've settled in. The accommodations are a bit... sparse, I know. Where are the others? Are they safe? Safe? No. I wouldn't say any of them are... safe. I am so tired of your games. As you wish. No more secrets, no more lies. You are a weapon we will use to achieve our ends. I will not become an instrument of death. 
So you favor life, is that it? That momentary flicker. Every cruel second spent delaying the inevitable in an endless war that you, like every Rin before you, will not survive. You know the truth. Nothing is fair. Not life, not death. So we're going to tear it all down. And what purpose would that serve? Everyone suffers, Sylvanas. But destroying everything will not take away the pain. Oh, you misunderstand. We're breaking a system that has always been flawed and remaking it into one that is just. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that all this time you've been fighting for justice? How can I convince you? From our first breath, to our last. Every decision is made for us. Then, the afterlife decides what eternity we must endure. We can't even choose who we... We couldn't control anything. But through the Jailer, control of our fate will at last be possible. Look around you! At what? And who you've joined? What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? You have a choice to consider. Join us willingly. Or be made to serve. I thought you believed in free will, Sylvanas. We've never had free will, little lion. But that is about to change. All that matters is we now possess the necessary instrument. We must begin its preparation. Leave him to me. You've seen what he is capable of when he believes in the cause. A measure of patience may yield superior results. Not the ones you need to fear, Kel'Thuzad. Your cause is lost, you sinner. Now you answer for your crimes against Maldraxxus. And against me. Foolish Margrave. Your victory is a hollow one.
The medallion is ours. Let us return to Revendreth. What? We cannot simply leave. Not while Kilthazar yet lives. I will have vengeance for Silvermoon. His fate is not yours to decide. Come, Lich. The Banished One calls you to his side. Remember this lesson. <laughs> <laughs>